Come on, just run away. Oh, get off me! I don't think there's any camera in my eyes to see my car. Come in. You're late, and please calm down out there. Excuse me? I didn't give you a free pass to act like an asshole. You're bringing a lot of heat. Hang out with bad people, doing bad things, making idiot moves. I'm an idiot. I move. True, but the last thing I need is you getting caught. Why? Because I lead them to you in some plea bargain thing? To me? Who am I? There's a hundred guys in this building alone who fit my description. Middle-aged men, paunchy, glasses. You bring them here? What's this, empty office leased to a man who died in the last days of Vietnam? Ooh. Call me up. Huh. My number never existed. No, I'm not too worried about that. I mean, I think you'll end up on a flight deck, but that's your business. Then what? Because you're good. Because I need you to keep being good. And you're getting distracted. Oh. Oh. Funny. Oh. Yeah, good. I need someone neutralized. Guy is moving a lot of money for terrorists. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. The guy's gotta go, but I need to know his movements first. How? I've got something that's going to help you. Head over to Albany Avenue in Lancet and give me a call. Go. Can I get paid for this? Can I get a medal? Did you get a medal in your last war? What did you give Michelle? For me? Michelle? Karen? We gave her a life back. We didn't play too rough. We gave her some money. She still works for us. What about me? We'll discuss that later.
Okay, then. Here goes nothing! Come down! 
Thank you. We'll take it from here. All I'm saying is that we'll all be judged in the end. All of your brothers. And you, Patrick. And you, Kate. Who's gonna judge Kate? What would she win if they did Virgin of the Year? No. I'm thinking maybe you can catch VD for both Fuck of us, you, Patrick. Fuck you, Katie. Language. Sorry, Ma. Ho oh, ho, there he is. Mr. Fucking Crazy Man. You want a beer? No. Good, because I ain't fucking got none. Very funny. Maybe if being a drunkard doesn't work out, you can be a comedian. Fuck off. <laughs> and you, Kate, fuck off out of here. But aren't you going to introduce us? Sure. This is Nico, some drug dealing to fucking generate from some armpit in Eastern Europe. That's my ma. Nice to meet you. Hi. And this is my sister, lovely lass, scared to bits of life, and fucking off out of here right now before I throw a fucking bottle at her. Patrick. Nice to meet you. Likewise. See you around. Bye. What a girl. I think she likes you. Word to the wise, though, she don't put out. Which is convenient, because if she did, I'd have to kill you. Understood. Good lad. You got any drugs on you, boy? No. Shit. Well, probably a good thing. We got some business to take care of. Come on. We've got business out at the docks in Algonquin. Where's your car, man? We need a car. Okay, there's a ship coming in, and we're the welcoming party. Who are we welcoming, and what have they got that makes this drive worth the effort? We're welcoming some of our cousins from the east, but we don't know what it is 
that they're bringing in. Exactly. All we know is that it's worth a dollar or two. My brother Gerald had word about it through this Italian, Ray Bacino. He gave us the heads up in exchange for a cut of the haul. What makes you think that the information is legit? First off, I don't trust this guinea for a second. We wouldn't be working for him if our family still had the same status it did back in the day. But that's another story. Am I going to hear this story? Anyone who hangs around my family hears about the old days. Just wait. Oh, yeah. Ray Bacino's a slimy motherfucker. The one thing you can rely on him for is greed. I'm too small time to be worth setting up, so the one angle he can be playing is the cash one. Makes sense. Yeah, he'll probably try to give us a fraction of whatever this stuff's worth, but it'll be a fun night. Depends on what you think is fun. A stealing, gunfire, car chases, all the usual stuff. Usual for you and me, maybe. The general population, I'm not so sure. General population? That's a prison term. You ever been inside? Not in this country. In Europe. They do things different there. Not so much of the fun in the shower that you guys have here in America. Must have been a real disappointment. Bet a guy like you thought he was gonna be real popular with the lifers. Did no one pay you any attention? As I said, the whole prison bitch thing is an American phenomenon. It don't happen on the other side of the ocean. Well, you gotta do some time over here. See what you've been missing out on in your chaste European jails. I'm going to pass on that. Send me a postcard if you do some time. Will do. Might even put you on the visitors list. I'd be fucking touched. You'd be touched if you did some time, that's for sure. We would see if they'd be able to touch me. I got some moves. You're a good man, Nico. I like you. Not in a fun in the showers kind of way. You know, a male bonding about to go rob some people kind of way. I think I know what you're saying. All right, here we are. What's the plan? We get up on the roof of that warehouse. There should be a good view of the dock so we can scope that shit out. We're going this way. to me, man. Why don't they make these places easier to break into? This is where the deal's meant to be going down. And here's the boat, right on time. See those boxes on the back of the boat? They must be bringing clone meds. Meds? Yeah, stuff that'll stop housewives cutting their wrists and make their husbands get wood. Meds. Molly, sedatives, antidepressants, meds. Okay, how do we do it? We'll wait until the truck is loaded, then we'll take it. Simple as that. I'll cover you from up here while you're down on the ground cleaning up. These better be some good fucking pills. The housewives better be grateful. Jump down there to get at him, man.
No way out. You're fucking surrounded. We're being shot at. You're pathetic. I'm going for you. Push me. Push me. It's gonna be a bad day for you. I give in! No more! All right, Nico, you drive. I'll take out anyone who tries to follow us. We're going up to Ray's lockup in Westminster off of Union Drive West. It's real serious, aren't they? This is not like to be robbed, I guess. Not many people do. And that's a lesson I've learned. Fucking casino, sitting in the east. You think I enjoy a good run? What the hell? Is it Chinese New Year already? There's a bus of grenades in here. Pass them up, Pecky. I'll give them a taste of their own fireworks. Screw you! Stuff all in there. Sure is. All safe and sound. Whole truckload of it. A lot of wives and mistresses are gonna be happy when they men get a hold of those, huh? Whole city's gonna be hard in a few days' time. Who's this? That's my boy Nico. He's an absolute savior. Couldn't have done it without him. Nico! Come over here. You work for these mick bastards. Fucking guinea. I work for whoever's paying. I might give you a call sometime. Get in, Packy. Hey, I'll catch you around, man.
Nikki, it's Nico. You want to go out on a date with me? Seeing you would make my week. Pick me up in the next hour. See you soon, then. Hey, let's go have some fun. That top's nice. Oh, I like the new pants. I bet you can run fast in those new shoes. Drugs? Drive slower! Take me to places like this. They're so quick and easy. That was so nice. You don't have to spend money for me to have a good time. So, Nico, are there any skeletons in your closet? Is anyone haunting you? What do you mean? Who have you been talking to? I mean, are there any ex-girlfriends who are still hung up on you? What did you think I meant? Oh, uh, nothing. Have you got any ex-boyfriends I should worry about? None that are still on the outside. This government really annoys me, Nico. It's nearly impossible for a man born into poverty in this country to make it without breaking the law. You might be right. I mean, I was born into privilege. I was given an education. I don't pretend that I wouldn't be selling my ass for crack if I was born in project housing, though. Not everyone born in the project sells their ass for crack. This ex of mine, Mitch. I met him when I represented him on this bogus murder charge. I mean, Mitch was no angel. I'm not going to pretend that he was. But the police will arrest any man in the vicinity of a crime in order to clear a file from their desks. I mean, it's just the arresting officer's word against the perps. We found this gun on him. His clothes were covered in the victim's blood. An innocent man with a felony prior doesn't stand a chance. Well, sometimes the cops are bigger crooks than the guys they're arresting. It makes me so angry. Where's Mitch now? He's serving life upstate. Can you believe that they revoked his conjugal visit privileges? It's inhuman. Yeah, sure. It would uh, mean a lot to me if I could come inside, Kiki. This is going to be amazing. I might cry with happiness. Hey, Let's go inside. Stupid Malaka. Uh, 
Brooklyn. You can prosecute me anytime. Nico. Oh, Nico. I love you, Nico. Girl is very intense. I didn't see you. Hey, how you doing? Good. Hey, you remember me? Uh, huh? You do, huh? Yeah, you took those photos of my wife. Yeah. My late wife. Yes, I remember you. Yeah, yeah, I, I owe you. Uh, Jeff owes you. Uh, Jeff and you, you know, buddies, pals, yeah? Uh, we've been through some shit together, didn't we? I don't know about I, that. I, that's why I feel I can tell you things. Please, yeah. don't. Well, you know, life hasn't always been kind. My mom, you know, she left my dad. And my dad... Very well, fucking interesting. I, I need a fucking friend, man. My life is hell, all right? Or, oh, I got married again. Yeah, yeah. That's right. She's a nice girl. Or so I thought. Here we go. She's up there right now. She's having a drink with her ex. Yeah, she's touching his leg. She's getting all wet. You've got to calm down. I need you to kill her. What? I'll pay. You're deranged. Well, then screw you. Screw you. Screw you. Calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. Calm down before I give you injury. God damn you. Uh, uh, you're just like all the rest. Hello? Is this the police? Look, I'm bloody sorry about this, but I think I've run some poor chap over. He looks dead. Of course I'll hold.
Yes, yes, my man, Nico. Hey, Jacob. Yo, nigga, some serious firepower up in here. Rocket launcher, boom! Let's find him and get this over with. I don't like being in this man's pocket. You're not my butter, butter. So that night for losing that Ross class, you know. Sure, one love, my brother. There'll be the other chopper. Stick to him, Nico. We need to take him down there with no people. For a man who has asked me to kill a lot of men, this guy is really safety conscious. See, you got that government thing about it. I'm gonna create a good thing. I have the feeling you don't want to be responsible for a helicopter crash in Middle Park. True that. Yo, this be some crazy shit in a nigga. Yo, we ain't on the star jokes in a helicopter. This some real spy shit I know is doing it up. Shows you that the people who need spy shit done. Get other people to do their dirty work. See you, Bridget. Everything crash. Shit, Jacob. You really gotta smoke that thing now? The secondary smoke doesn't exactly help my hand-eye coordination. And I'm paranoid enough with U.S. government on my ass. Whatever. Actually... Just smoke it. Martin, walk one! Don't worry about the bridge, Jacob. I'm finally getting the hang of flying this thing. Show no respect. The righteous rule, boy, Nico. Get close, my can take a shot. We 
shut down that chopper for you. You think I don't know that? You think I've been sitting around scratching my balls with my head on my ass? I'd be impressed if you hadn't been. I appreciate your assistance. You did a good thing, didn't you? No, it's fine. I will try to find the man you're after. I will call when I have him. I hear about you running with Patrick McCreary now these days. He's got work and he's a good guy. You're not planning on taking him down, are you? Lay off him, for me. I'm not planning on taking him down. He's my damn brother, you idiot. Packy McCreary, Francis McCreary. It's all starting to make sense. I knew Irish families were big, but I didn't expect to run into brothers in a place the size of Liberty City. Yeah, just thank the Lord you ran into Packy and not my other brothers. Packy's just a hood, but Gerald is into some serious shit. And Derek, he's the worst. If that asshole ever comes back from Ireland, I can't be held responsible for what I do. My brothers ain't no good, Nico. Trust me on that. You know what? Me and Packy get along. Maybe if doing what you do is good, then I want to be no good instead. I should meet the other McCreary's. Be careful what you wish for. <laughs> <laughs> 